All right. Hello, everybody. This is End Times 4565, and I'm on the TIB Gospel Network. And uh, today I want to have a discussion um, about the earthquake situation on the Ring of Fire. And today there's been 105 quakes. And I want to discuss the volcanic activity around the world, which is also ramping up. And so with that being said, let's get started. Okay. So now, let me see if I can drop this. And I don't want to go to that just yet. Where do I want to go? Well, gee, maybe I'll go. You know, I'm just not sure how to handle YouTube, you know. Now let's go back to here. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. So here, here's what I here's what I want to to say quickly, if I might. Now, just recently, and and I do mean recently. Of course, now we could go further back. We could go all the way into 2014 when everything really started ramping up. But let's talk just recently, which seems to be the issue that we're having today. So just recently, many of our major global volcanoes have become more active, especially around the Pacific Rig of Fire, in the last year, there have been hundreds of minor quakes at Yellowstone, and we know, we know from that that there's an uplift in Yellowstone that seems to be continuing as magma is really pouring in and recharging that volcano. So, which is the cause for us to be aware? And we're also seeing an increased earth shift activity in Central America. Now, the continental, the continental plates are moving faster and more so now faster what is faster millimeters to inches you know inches by inch by inch i don't know but they are moving faster that's what the scientists proclaim so especially they're moving in uh, central america and in uh, japan indonesia hawaii and australia that's just a few places, okay? But you can get updates on your computer. Just Google it, you know what I'm saying? So the shifting and the earthquakes and the volcanoes are to be expected because of a 5D shift that seems to be speeding up now. Now, we're about a, what they call a hundred years into a crucial pole shift. And nobody's really talking about the pole shift anymore. I used to. I quit. But I'm back because it's worse now than it ever was. I'll show you in a minute. Okay? Now, we know that the pole shift can take thousands of years to complete. However, the current acceleration points toward a completion within just one human lifetime, according to 
the Berkeley University. History reveals that during such a shift, the magnetic field of the Earth, the magnetosphere that protects us from the radiation of the sun, becomes less. Right? And that greatly reduces the shielding effect of incoming solar storms. So it's kind of a one-two. As the poles begin to move at a certain point, okay, which is like dominoes, causes the uh, earth crust to move around and also causes the inner mantle of the earth to become uh, deformed and to perhaps stop its rotation or slow. I'm talking about the mantle, which is and to expand, right? So if the if the radiation causes the Earth to have a pole, a magnetic shift, this releases pressure on the Earth, which causes the continental fields to move around and causes the magma to want to change its properties. Now this is what's being witnessed right now, happening right now. Now let's go back a little over a year in March of last year, okay? The earth and the sun's fields at that time were weakening and we were exiting a magnetic dust cloud at that time in March. Now, at the same time, the three shields that shield us against the energy from space and the sun are disappearing. I'm going to show you in a minute. And we're showing increased vulnerability to space weather from our sun and cosmic rays that are already exceeding expectations. And that has a massive effect on our biosphere, resulting in an increased earthquake and volcanic activity because of the moving of the tectonic plates. Now, I'm going to show you a video. Okay? Let's get to it, because I don't want to take all of your time. Now, this is the geospace. I'm sorry that I'm not all the way in the, in the screen here. Here we go. This is the geospace magnetic magnetosphere latest videos. Okay? Now first, this is a cut, and it is a north, I mean a south picture. This is north, this is south, okay, this is the earth, that dot, and this is at daytime, today, at dawn, and at dusk, okay? This is UTC time. Now, this is the this is the magnetosphere, and the pressure you see it bowed is, as everybody knows, is coming this away. Okay, but this isn't pressure. Okay, what I'm showing you here is the medial plane. Okay, let's run it, and I want to show you. Now, in this video, at the end of it, there is a influx of activity from the sun and space, right? So, looking north and south, if I go back, 
you see the bulging here and a very thin line right here. Okay, looking down on the earth, north, south. This trail here, okay, should be here in the wake, but it isn't. It's on this quadrant, the north, more north quadrant right here. Okay? And I guess we could say this is east and west, and if that's the case, we could call it the northwest quadrant. As it bulges out and then bends into the weight of the magnetic anomalies from the sun. And if I do this, you can see it, but apparently it's not going to let me. Let me run it. There it is. This is the beginning of the video. See the line? Okay, this is dawn. Now, look, see that anomaly? See them? See what they did? Stop, 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 stop. See right here? There's pressure right here and a vacuum back here. But note right here the blue color. The blue color. See? This is zero. This is the rejection side. This is the exception side. Right here, we're close to the 500 range. Okay? You see that? Close to zero here when we should be reading this in the wake. See this? Okay? Minus 600. But you see, everything is weaker. I got to go on. Now I want to show you the density. Okay? So this is the density of the magnetic field, how dense it is, the mass. Notice in this position, behind the Earth, this is the Earth, there's a vacuum. See? Almost no density, right? Blue is 4, okay? Excuse me, 4. That's dense. Light is not. Blue is. I had it backwards. Okay, but what I want to show you is the front. Because the front is where all the action is. Right? So looking right here, this and this tell us of a pole shift or a weakening of the magnetic field it should be solid, but this is north and south, north and south, and you can see plainly there's an issue as it's breaking down. And notice this arch in the back, which should be directly behind us, but it's tilted. Tilted, which means the poles are seeking this direction which is why this exists and this because the earth is fighting within itself to stay upright according to the magnetic field and it brings this anomaly that you see here now let's watch it okay Look at this. See, this is a huge gap right here. Watch, watch when these anomalies come, how it pulls and splits it. It splits it open. Okay, here we go again. This is this morning. See how close it's tucked? It should be more like this. All right, now this this gap, I may not be a, a, a scientist, but from what I've read and what I understand, this gap and this arch tells us plainly 
that something is happening here, ladies and gentlemen. And what it is, it's a battle between the earth within itself to maintain its positioning as the poles are shifting at this time. We are in a solar minimum. Okay, so now I want us to look at the pressure, okay? This is the pressure now, the pushing down, pushing against, against the earth from the top. Okay, here we have the pressure showing 1.5 or greater. And this is in the 1 to 1.5 range. And this is, this would be normal as this would be normal except it's too small and this little triangle right there right there now this is the one I want to focus on what do you see well here was that gap that we saw on the density so the earth is trying to push out of this weak spot so the earth is trying to affix itself right it's trying to save itself from the incoming solar activity and space weather. That's what it's doing. When this whole section should be red, why is this reaching almost all the way to the surface? One would have to ask yourself that question. And of course you notice here, these are northwest by southeast when they should be straight up and across east and west but no east and west is not there's a change why is this change because the poles are actually trying to turn in this direction and at a certain point the earth flips how far are we? Hundreds and thousands of years? Perhaps. But in the meantime, I'm more concerned about our shields. If you're a Star Trek fan, Captain, our shields are failing. Observe. Now here comes an anomaly coming boom gone minimal look how huge dense it's turning it's 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 all uh biscobubulated ladies and gentlemen it's not it's not in its proper positioning let us continue Boom, we got hit with another one. And you saw how the earth did its best to protect itself. And it caused the magnetic field again to almost touch the surface. And now, by the way, these are, these are minimal anomalies from the sun. Okay. I really don't have time to go into the sun pictures and discuss them with you but you can see it right here after the hit this is what happens observe here comes another one boom this is the last picture of today what do you see what do you see it's in the rear our protection is in the rear it doesn't need to be back there. This needs to be up here. But you can see, look at this gap, ladies and gentlemen. And this is, what is this? This shouldn't even be here. Neither should this. 
Something's happening. And this something is causing this something is causing the tectonic plates to shift and to move around. And there's a lot of that going on right now, more than you can imagine. The Caribbean is due for a big quake. So is the West Coast. Duh, we always know that. Indonesia is ready for another big one. Okay? Japan is feeling extreme pressure, ladies and gentlemen, out in the Pacific. And it's causing tremendous catastrophe underneath the crust with the lava flows. That's why Hawaii, which is one of the major vent lines above the ocean surface, is now beginning to quake again. Question, are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? What if Yellowstone does erupt? What if? Are you prepared? I got to hurry. Now, the Bible, by the way, explains all of this. And it's been prophesied that this generation, before the Lord, returns and his judgment befalls the earth in a big way. Not like now, this is just birth pains, this pandemic and the rioting and, and all of those activities. I want to talk about those again. Because I can show you what's happening. But this stuff is is being promoted by the earth being shaken and Lucifer and the demonic co-conspirators doing their work against the earth and the inhabitants. Matthew 24 tells us. Isaiah chapter 14 tells us. Revelation chapter 6 tells us. And what do they tell us? They tell us of a geographical, geopolitical, and social upheaval that will be worldwide. It is not going to be just in the U.S. It's going to be global. Right? And worldwide earthquakes in places that don't normally have them because of the pressure and the movement and the magma underneath the crust. Things are changing. And the volcanic and solar activity, the likes that mankind has never seen or experienced, I just showed you. Something that this time has never seen ever. God is cleansing the universe of its disobedience to his laws. That he gave us to live, that he gave us to prosper, and to dwell in him. Anyone wanting to avoid living through the coming Increased birth pains of the apocalypse, you need Jesus now. And John 3.16 will definitely tell you all about it. God bless. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe and uh, share. And my PayPal link is in the description below. And may the Lord rich you blessedly, and I should be on with another video shortly. And happy 4th of July.